Hey besties, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anaya and if you are new here, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And as y'all can see by today's title, this week I'm going to be crocheting random things. Just random hats, random whatever comes to mind, whatever I've been wanting to crochet for a while now, we're going to do that this week. So, I'm not going to tell y'all what I want to crochet for the week, but I'll add some hints, some pictures, a bunch of pictures and stuff because I feel like that'd be cute. But... Y'all, I am excited because I've been, it's so much stuff I be wanting to crochet. And I feel like I say this every video, but it's true. Like, it's so much stuff I be wanting to make. But we're going to do a few things this week. It is already Tuesday. I wish I would have came up with this um, yesterday, but it's okay. At least we got the idea. So, I did a video like this on my, pin, not on my Pinterest, on my TikTok before. And I had crocheted a lock sock. Um... I don't remember what I crocheted, I'm not gonna lie to y'all. But I wanna do this video with stuff that's out of my comfort zone. Um, it's a few new elements I'm gonna be adding. I wanna add to like my crochet style. And like before we get into the video, I just wanna talk to y'all about that. Like, make sure y'all are coming up with y'all own niches. Like, it's nothing wrong with being inspired and copying, not copying, being inspired and taking you know little pieces but when you take those little pieces add your own little you know flow to it add your own little style to it because i be seeing a lot of just copycats and i don't like that for y'all like i don't like that like let's we are already in like a community to where it's not that many ways to express your creativity without you know having to see somebody else do it so if it comes to your mind you know just add your own little Spazazz, add your own little razzle dazzle. I just feel like we gotta get that out the way. So many different hat styles you can do, and that's why today's video y'all gonna see. Y'all gonna see what we make a majority of this video. If y'all already know, if y'all my real car business, y'all already know. I'm sorry if y'all can hit them outside cutting grass. So, yeah, I want to get one of them little microphones so I can feel like I'm doing like I'm just professional, but think, give y'all two seconds, okay. We're going to make an 8 ball hat. I'm going to add a little picture right here. i seen this hat. Well, it's like a beanie. Um, i seen this beanie and I was like, I got to make it. I got to make it. I never made nothing like this before, so I'm excited. But I couldn't find a, like, a good pattern. So what we doing? Freehanding it. So I'm excited. I don't feel like it's going to take that long. I feel like I can finish this in one day. So that is very, very good. We need projects that we can finish in one day. By the end of this video, I should have... I don't know when I'm posting this video. So I should have about four hats. Maybe five. I don't know yet. But, and I am going to be selling all the hats I make in this video if y'all want to buy them. So, we're going to make an eight ball hat. And I'm excited because eight is my favorite number. So... And if y'all like this one, I will make it in different colors. Because I want to do a pink 8-ball hat, a green 8-ball hat. Just the colors with E. Even though I know an 8-ball is black and white. You know, that's, that's what you do. Add your own add your own creativity behind it. So, don't, don't say nothing. So, we about to go ahead and start doing this. And I'm excited. <laughs> so, I'm going to um, come back in a second. Okay, so I started working on the white part of the 8-ball hat with an eight ball and I'm gonna do one two three four about five or probably five rows of white and then I'm gonna start working on the black and it's not that bad so far it's not that bad I'm pre-handing it the only thing I do not know how to do is the eight but that's okay because we about to learn we're gonna learn how to do it we're not gonna say we don't know how to do it we're gonna learn so I'm watching my scandal and so, um keep going I'm gonna update y'all when I get to the black part, I'm going to update y'all. Okay. So, I started on a black. Ooh, it's giving I'm almost done, but I'm not. I started on a black. And let me put it on a mannequin here. So, I can show y'all. This is giving eight ball. So, this is what we have so far. I probably could have did one less raw white. But it's okay. It's not that serious. But... I'm trying to decide. That's so funny. All the black on black. Like, girl, you don't like black that much. I'm trying to decide if I want to add a brim or not. Because, like, 
Y'all see the beanies without brims. I like those type of beanies, but I don't know what style or what vibe I'm trying to give for this beanie. If this didn't take that long, like I'm gonna do one more row. If I decide not to do the beanie, all I would need to do is like one or two more rows. Definitely one more row, possibly two more rows. And then add the eight and I would be done. And this would have took like, probably like an hour. So if that. Okay, besties, I finished the hat, but wait, I didn't finish it, but it's done for the most part. I just gotta sew the eight on. Oh, I decided not to um do a brim. So like, it's literally just like a slip on beanie. So if you wanna make this, all you gotta do is follow like one of my wavy brim tutorials or like my uh ruffle hat tutorial and just do the base of the hat. That's literally all I did. And then we gotta sew the eight on. I'm trying to decide if I wanna actually like sew it on or if I just wanna go get fabric glue. And I'm leaning more towards fabric glue because I don't know how to hand sew for real for real. Well, let me rephrase that. I don't feel secure with hand sewing for real for real. So I don't know. But it's cute. It's a cute moment. It's giving eight ball. Like it's cute. So I'm about to see. And this is day one. If I don't call y'all back after I'm done. This is the front. And that's the back. And it's cute. And I'm about to see what I can do. I'll probably just try to hand sew it. I'm not going to lie. Hey, Bestie. So it's Wednesday. And it is currently 10-10. I started working on the evil eye. Well, I ain't tell y'all, but I'm, ma I'm making an evil eye. Granny Square hat. So I started working on the uh, Granny Squares. And I was like, let me come update them. Because the, the clips is going to jump. Y'all, I be wanting to crochet with y'all. But I be wanting to listen to music while I crochet sometimes. So I'm going to um, do the ruffles. Because we're not going to do like no jumbo ruffles. Like I'm about to take it back to like my um, beginner hat stage era. Where I do like the minimal... You know cutesy casual ruffles so that's what i'm thinking for this i went to walmart yesterday and i got some blue yarn it's kind of dingy looking to me i don't know if y'all could tell on camera but this is big twist this is a big twist blue i know for sure this is probably a big twist and this thing i got from walmart like can y'all not see that difference like i know i'm not tripping but i've been crocheting i did um this not taking that long neither. And it's cute. I like it. I've been wanting to make this hat for so long. Like, I be seeing this hat on Pinterest all the time. But they normally do it with a sunburst granny square. But I don't like doing that granny square personally. I love the, the classic granny square. Like, it's just so cute to me. So, this is so cute. And majority of this yarn is coming from my stash. So, we are also being resourceful. So... I'm going to um, probably finish the other four squares, no, three squares off camera. And then I'm going to come back and we're going to do the ruffles together. And we're going to do a little chit chat session. And I don't know if I'm going to work on two hats today because this hat is working up fast. So I'm going to let y'all know in a minute. Well, y'all see in a second, but for me, it'll be a minute. So, so update, I finished the hat. Well, not, I didn't finish the act like the hat for real, for real, but I just finished like the squares and sewing everything together. Now I'm about to go ahead and work on the ruffles. And I'm thinking I'm going to use, what my hook at? I'm going to use my 5.75 millimeter hook. I already know y'all going to ask me, so I'm about to tell y'all what I'm going to do already. So I'm going to do, I always do five triple crochet is the first row of ruffles and then since i'm going for like more of a wavy broom wavy ruffle broom we're going to do uh five ruffles in the the first row and then i'm gonna do two ruffles in each stitch for the second row and i'm using a 5.75 if it'll focus which i doubt it'll focus or i might use my five millimeter i don't know yet so I'm about to go ahead and finish doing this. I don't feel like being on camera, so I'm just going to come back and show y'all when I have it done and on my head. So that's what I'm going to do.
Uh, I'm almost done with the hat. I'm I was gonna do a row two, but I'm not. I like it like this. Like it's giving very much like 2022. Oh, I just I make hats. I make hats. Real simple, real cute. Cause sometimes I don't be wearing them big ruffles. Not gonna lie, but it's cute. I be watching um Keith on YouTube. Keith Crawford, <laughs> and um he be like it's fishy. That's what I'm gonna start saying. It's fishy. It's cute. It's giving. It's giving. Let me cut my light off. <laughs> Every time I make something, I gotta do. <laughs> oh, and I'm trying to angle the camera like this because my room is missing. I don't want y'all to. I don't want y'all to see that. So I went to um Walmart yesterday and I got some fabric glue. So for these patches and stuff, I'ma make. We gonna patch them on. And I got this sparkly yarn, y'all. Look at this color. I'm, I, whenever I make something with this, it's going to be so cute. And I might keep it for myself. I got, um, I got a gray yarn like this the other, like, Saturday, Sunday, one of those days. And I just can't get over this hat. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I know y'all probably like, girl, it's not that serious. The hat is not, it ain't nothing special, but it, it's, it's just cute. So yeah, I got a gray yarn like that too. And it's like gray and silver sparkly. It's cute. And it was only like $2.98. It's the Walmart brand. And it's the color name is Teal. So y'all go get y'all some of this so we can make something together. And we can have the same project. But my mirror fell down. So I gotta go get stuff to hang that back up. That's giving manly. So anyways, I gotta finish the hat. I just got like a little more rows to go and we'll be done and this will be the half of day two well really it's wednesday so it really be day three but i might start on another hat tonight but this is it hey besties it is friday i've been crocheting um so i'm working on this pink wavy broom hat and i crocheted some numbers I've been had crochet these like the other day, but I forgot to show y'all. I was going to do a scrap hat, but I wasn't. I don't know how y'all do y'all scrap hats because the colors just wasn't given for me. And it just looked tacky. And I was like, no, I'm not going to be crocheting something I don't like. So I'm making the numbers and then I'm sitting so weird. Like, let me get myself together. Like, let's 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 take a minute. Let's take a minute to get ourselves together. If you need to get yourself together, get yourself together right quick. Because I know I had to. But just see the vision. I started on the base last night. And then I'm going to have the eights. <laughs> and not to say, like, not to be one of those, oh, I started. Da -da 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 -da, but I haven't seen anybody do angel numbers on hats. So you've seen it here first. I'm pretty sure it's been done before, but I, me, I stalk crochet. I, especially when it comes down to hats, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. And I'm also working on a Care Bear hat. I seen one of my mutuals make it on TikTok, and I was like, oh my gosh, I got to make that. And this is all the yarn I have. So we might have to go to Joann's, but I'm not going to bring y'all, because I know y'all get tired of me going to Joann's. I also crochet the cloud because we doing the grumpy Care Bear. So <laughs> this video has been so fun because I'm really doing like I love making hats. So just adding like these different elements is so fun because making hats can kind of get boring sometimes if you're just doing like the same old, same old. But so we're going to finish that. I just wanted to come show y'all the 888. I'm so upset with myself because all this time I thought numbers was hard to make. Like, I'm I'm thinking, oh, numbers is hard. Da, 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 da. Excuses. Excuses. You got to try it first, y'all. So just make sure y'all, y'all try. I'm crocheting. Make sure y'all trying to do different stuff so that, you know, before you just say it's hard. Because it, it, I made three of those, all three of them eights in less than an hour probably like 30 minutes 30 minutes so definitely try stuff out y'all 
before y'all say it's hard because in this cloud. Where it went? Where that cloud went? Where it went? Oh. This cloud took me 11 minutes. 11 minutes. I would have never thought. And then, like, it wasn't hard to do. All I typed in was cloud, crochet cloud tutorial. And all I typed in for the numbers was crochet eight um, tutorial. Crochet number eight tutorial. And next, I'm going to be working on letters so I can start putting letters on stuff. Because people used to always ask me, like, you could do numbers, you could do letters. And I will be like, no, I don't do that. But now, shoot, I'm coming with the, I'm about to come with the different stuff. Hey, besties. I've been so bad at recording this week. But I've been crocheting. I rearranged my room. Because whenever, I want to start having, like, girls, ugh. Okay, no. I want to start having girl talks at my desk. So, I rearranged it. And I've been crocheting. I finished the pink hat, the pink wavy broom. I did one less, like, row of, um, one less row of double crochet. So, my brim can be a little shorter. And I love it. I can't wait to, I'm going to glue the 888s on. I think I'm going to just go ahead and do that tonight. And I went to Joann's because I had to get some of, of the turquoise yarn because I had ran out. I crocheted the little white part. I'm going to turn the camera actually and show y'all the idea. I need to look up a tutorial for how to make the um, ears, the bear ears. If I wanted to, I could leave the hat like that without the bear ears. But I feel like the bear ears is going to make it give Care Bear. And also, oh, let me show y'all what I got from um, Joann's. It's not much. I just got the turquoise yarn. And I y'all know I don't buy Red Heart for real, for real. Like, but they didn't have this color and Big Twist, so I had to get Red Heart. And I also got this, uh, I don't buy Red Heart, but then it shows two skins of Red Heart. I also got this uh granny. I know y'all seen this if you cross like you know the cro y'all we girl we crochet. I know y'all seen this, and I'm not gonna tell y'all what I wanna make with these because it's gonna be a video, so be on the lookout for that. But I got one. I'm gonna end up going back and get another one tomorrow. It was like nine dollars, but I used a fifty percent off coupon. Yes, I went in line two times. I know that girl was looking at me weird, but like girl, I had to use that fifty percent off coupon. Cause red heart yarn is like four ninety nine a skein. I would, I would never, I would never. Let's see if it's giving what it needs to give. Cause y'all know I love making granny squares, but I don't like the color switching part of making granny squares. But I can make a lot of granny squares if I needed to. Y'all like my robe? I love my juicy couture robe. But I'm about to show y'all the hat. So this is the, but this is this. This is the hat so far. I did the little part. Then we got the little cloud. We doing a grumpy care bear. So we just gotta add the bear ears. And it's gonna be cute. I'm gonna do ruffles. I'm about to that's we're gonna do one row of ruffles like I did for the uh evil eye hat. And that's gonna be cute. So I'm about to do the ruffles first and then we'll do the ears. And then I don't know if I'm gonna stay up tonight and uh glue everything on. I know I showed y'all I showed y'all the glue I bought. I don't know if I'm gonna do that tonight or just do that in the morning. Probably just stay up and do it tonight. But so I'm about to go ahead and finish crocheting these ruffles. We'll start crocheting these ruffles. We're just doing one row, five uh treble stitch or five triple crochets in each stitch, and we're gonna call it a day. Cause I feel like I couldn't imagine it with right, like a wavy broom. I can't imagine it with a whole bunch of ruffles. I feel like the five ruffles, the five treble, five triple crochets in each stitch is going to be cute and dainty. Like, it's going to be real cute. And what's the word I'm looking for? What's the word I'm looking for? It's just going to be cute. Like, sometimes less is more. We don't need to do them big ruffles all the time. Not every hat style need them big ruffles. I'm, and I love ruffles, so I'm gonna be the one to tell y'all. 
for the longest, I did not want to start doing those jumbo ruffles because I felt like they was ugly. And then I had started and I became addicted to the two rolls. But before I was doing those two rolls, I was a run roll girly. Only one roll. So make sure y'all try out different stuff. Y'all don't have to do everything y'all see on TikTok. If you want to do one ruffle, one roll of ruffles, you feel like it look cute, you do that. Do it, boo. Do it. I just be doing too much like girl just crochet just shut up and crochet like all that was not needed but i know y'all tired of seeing me sit here and crochet some more Hey besties, it's Saturday and I finally finished all the hats. This was probably like one of my, my most funnest weeks crocheting this week because like it was just so fun. Like y'all know I love making hats. Y'all like my, my lashes. I'm trying to start wearing lashes and I finally did them right for once. But besides the point, besides the point, I finally figure out like new hat styles I want to do so I'm about to try all the hats on and then yeah okay so for starters we have the evil eye granny square hat this one my favorite this one I'm not gonna say this one my favorite because I'm gonna say all of them my favorite because y'all know how I am Then we have our 888 wavy broom hat. I could probably spin. <laughs> I love this one. Y'all know I love pink and eight is my favorite number. So I love this hat. Only thing I would do differently next time is sew them closer together, but it's okay. We live, we learn, we live and we learn. And I would add another row of um another row for this one but this is the eight ball hat can y'all see it i don't know if y'all can i like this one this one i like the i i love hats that don't have like a brim or nothing like it just be given like i'm a fashionista like i'm like you know i don't know but this is cute um one more row and it would have been perfect so I rate this one cool seven out of ten. Last for not least, <laughs> the Care Bear hat. Look 360 for y'all. I love this one. Like, imagine this hat and all the other colors. Like, it'll just be so cute. It'll just be so cute. Like. I'm definitely, that be the, the part about crocheting, like, you have the ability to make it one time and then remake it and perfect it. The more you make it, the better you'll get. So I know the next time I make it, 
it's gonna be so cute. I'm gonna make the four leaf clover one. I'm gonna make the pink. I'm gonna make all of them. I'm gonna make all of them. I'm not even gonna lie to y'all. I'm gonna make all of them. At this big grown age, I'm gonna be wearing Care Bear hats. Cause, like, being older is overrated. So I made all these hats this week and it was so fun. It was so fun. I'm I'm definitely gonna be adding more elements to my hats. Like it wasn't that bad. It was really fun. Like add-ons, like it's so many more I wanna do. So y'all might be getting a part two of this video. And I know I always say that it's because I always come up with ideas as I'm doing these videos. So this one my favorite. Like it's no escaping it. I think it's because I wanted this hat for so long. I wanted this hat for so long and I just never made it and I finally made it and I'll just never take it off. Like I wasn't even gonna wear a hat for the day, but I'm wearing this hat for the day, for the week, for the year. Y'all see a hat? Just know I'm wearing this one. Let's spin for y'all again. <laughs> Anyways, I'm about to go ahead and do a thumbnail, edit this, get this posted for y'all, cause I've been slacking. But I love y'all. We go together real bad. Make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. And follow my Instagram. And follow my TikTok. So we can connect and we can talk. I do reply to every comment. I do respond to my DMs if they come across my phone. Now, I don't go looking, searching through my request box. But I, if it comes to my phone, I, I'll text you back. So, love y'all.